Displacement Each boat is made to perform a specific task. One of the factors defining a yacht's performance is displacement, or in simple terms, the boat's weight. Hi, my name is Olga. In this video, we will talk about displacement, its physics, mechanics, and why it is important to the shipbuilding industry. What are the mechanics of displacement boats? When submerged in liquid, the boat is exposed to Archimedes' principle, also known as the physical law of buoyancy. This force is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force of gravity acting on the volume of liquid displaced by the vessel. The hydrostatic pressure under the hull is enough to keep the vessel afloat. There are three types of boat displacement. Every type is responsible for specific features of each vessel. In short, the displacement defines the yacht's capabilities and performance. The three types of motor yachts distinguished by their displacement and hull type are Number one, planing yachts. Light, powerful, and speedy vessels. They ride on top of the water, move quickly, and operate in preferably flat waters. Among their disadvantages are susceptibility to rough weather, reduced stability, and high fuel consumption. Number two, displacement yachts are heavy, slow, and stable. Usually they are seaworthy, have a long range, carry an extensive amount of fuel and other supplies, and are quite economical and safe. Their negatives include slow speed and deeper draft, limiting their shallow water travel. Number three, semi-displacement yachts are a blend of the first two types. They are more comfortable than planing and faster than displacement boats. They have smaller draft and are capable of withstanding weather to a certain degree. However, they still need an expensive stabilizer system, and fuel economy at higher speeds is far from ideal. So let's talk to different people at Bering Yachts Company about displacement types. Here is Alexei Mikhailov, the owner of Bering Yachts Company, explaining why we don't try to make our boats faster and what is the shortcomings of semi-displacement boats. A full displacement boat, when you apply uh, more power, uh, it will go faster, but by very little increments. However, it will go deeper underwater. So the boat is not climbing up on top of the wave, it's rather trying to get in submerged uh, mode. So that's the hydrodynamics of the uh, displacement hull. However, for planing or semi-displacement, if you add more power, the boat have tendency to climb over uh, the hump and start to glide on the water. And people try to uh, make fairly large boat to go fast and they can't go fast enough to go into planing mode they go to semi-displacement mode which is the least efficient mode if you're talking about fuel consumption and the boat rising the bow up to five six degrees and uh, going in this uh, position for some time, usually it's not more than three, four hundred miles, and then fuel run out. So that's the semi-displacement. They call it fast displacement, which is nonsense to me. <laughs> Alexei is absolutely right. Uh, we want to build stable and affordable boats while bringing the, the super yacht quality into the under 24 meter segment. That's why we up out of building high-speed vessels, conquering the seas uh, steadily and slowly, and knowing that this yacht, this boat, will perform under any weather or sea condition. Adding into the mix, the extra space that our boats have to offer makes uh, life aboard that much more luxurious and comfortable. Because by allowing you uh, to have more space for your desired toys, uh, to stock more food, and uh, have all the utilities and amenities that you want to have on board will give you the ability and the freedom to be out there in the open seas for weeks. And while you travel on a displacement boat, there is less chance you get seasick. I mean, you can get sickness 
at any kind of moving object. But on a displacement board, your deck will be at level as much as possible on any vessel. Fuel economy, stability at sea, and ample space are all features of displacement boats. But how are they compared to other pleasure class vessels of similar size? Let us hear from Gokberg. We looked at more than 2,000 yachts measuring their displacement to length ratio, or DLR in short. Uh, it is a very commonly used metric in the shipbuilding industry. And as you can see on the graph, bearings have a higher DLR than most of other boats, uh, meaning that bearings are heavier than their competitors uh, as they displace more water, they're more economical, they have more space on board, and they are stable. When engineering their vessels, Bering chooses comfort, safety, and freedom. Full displacement boats offer these qualities in a way the other types of boats simply cannot.